Everybody. Welcome to the Savage Land and today is an episode uh, just basically talking about the Fan First Friday from G.I. Joe and the uh, Hasbro team. Um, got some good reveals today but I see they mostly were uh, stocking stuffers which they were great and it's starting to seem like they're starting to come around to uh, being more um, I, I guess more on the side of the fan working out more for us. I'm going to go in three stages here because that's basically what they did. They did something for Classified. They did something for the new Retro line, which they got coming out, which is still a six-inch action figures, but they're just a little bit of different spin on the Classified series. And they did something for the O-Rings. Uh, first up, we have um, the reveal of Zaymot and Tomax. Um, the two twins, Twins and Guard uh, from the Cobra team. Everybody was kind of speculating that they were going to get these uh, guys to us. And it looks like they did. They look great. They're, they're strictly down to the basics. Maybe their haircut's a little bit different. I think their haircut's a little bit shorter. But pretty much the same old twins, which is awesome. Now, which what they did not state were these guys in a two-pack or not. Uh, maybe I didn't hear. I watched it twice, and I still didn't hear if they were going to issue out. But they said they weren't going to get down to the basic logistics of these items uh, just yet. So today was just digital renders and a little bit later on in the future they're going to get down to pre-orders and release dates. Um, next up on the classified we got Stalker. Stalker looks amazing. Uh, he looks pretty much uh, old to his same old uh, body style but it's just a little bit twist on it. They said they used new parts on this so I think he's a totally new figure and he looks good. His camo uh, looks looks more uh, up to date and realistic, like his old suit. I like how they got the little uh, thing around his neck, like the uh, I can't think of like the handkerchief uh, that well, I mean the scarf that people wear around their neck when they're out in the desert uh, fighting out in Iraq and Afghanistan. But Stalker looks good. I can't I can't I can't I can't wait for him. And then next on the classified uh, list, they have a Viper three pack, not a two pack but a three pack which is awesome um they couldn't have did that any better looks like you come with the two uh, original cobra viper i mean cobra island vipers but then you get a new rendition of them with a red which is totally different from the python patrol and the cobra island so awesome awesome getting a lot of good army builders and troop builders in this gi joe uh classified line or just gi joe in, in general so next we want to go on to the gi joe retro which is they, the four inches obviously now defunct. They're not messing with that right now. Who says they won't bring it back, but they're obviously not messing with that. And they're giving the retro line to six inch action figures, but toned down. We got a new Baroness, which is the same mold as the one from Cobra Island, but she's in a uh, kind of tripled up black. Um, I haven't, I never opened mine up, so I don't know how much black. Uh, blacker can you get with her she looked like she was pretty jet black with the Cobra Island but they have some few little small differences and uh, Lady J they were the two women at first and those have the two small difference too Lady J is the same I think her ball cap is different some of her face makeup uh, Lenny said was a little bit different also on there she looks good so as for people well you couldn't have missed out on Lady J because they're still over flooding Walmarts now but if you missed out on Baroness and if you didn't want that Baroness with that stupid bike that bike is ugly that bike is trash I won't even, I won't ever display that thing if I do ever open up my two-pack Baroness I will sell that or give that away or I don't know man that bike is trash it don't even look real but as uh, far as the retro line also they on the guy side they have Destro which uh, and also Gunho which everybody looks the same. They just have a few small changes with them, which they're more, um, they, get, they get a little bit more simplistic uh, with it. So they, and it's basically more of an ode to the uh, original cartoon, the 80s, the aura uh, look of these, of these guys. And I'm pretty sure they tease uh, retro packaging. Um, they said you're going to really like it. So it's probably going to be with file cards, all that good stuff they want. They're listening to the fans, they're giving you what you want. So that's pretty cool. I probably will pick up a Baroness. Cause I don't want to open up my Cobra Island one. I think that's a waste now to open that up. 
think I'm gonna go with that. And Lady J, I got her. I'm, I'll probably even go with the gun hole. Didn't think I need another gun hole, but I like the way that light blue one looks. He, he looks he looks really good on there. And uh, last but not least, they have O-rings. Everybody who loves O-rings. And the O-rings look pretty good, I, I, I must say. Um, I'm still with the G.I. Joe Retro line. I still like those smaller figures and how they're proportioned and how they move. But the O-rings do look good. The, um, they they coming out with two two-packs, two Cobra officers. So basically looks like, they look pretty much look like the ones from the HasLab, but they're not. Those are kind of like flight crew guys. But that same body mold and that same uh, outlook, that's pretty much what they'll have on their Farger 2 Cobra officers, which they, which they look good. And I need to do some investigation. I don't know if uh, the arm ever had a cut on there. So maybe they're giving them just a little bit more articulation, which is cool. Um, and then also you're going to get a Duke and Cobra Commander from the from the Sunbow Cartoon. Uh, you're gonna get those their, their deco on that and as you can see Duke has like a little bit of yellowish shirt and They look just like they jumped right off the cartoon page uh, But man, it was a pretty good event um, A lot of stock and stuffers. They didn't give out any release dates, but I like them. I think it was pretty solid uh, I almost think it's a crime if you don't do Zaymont and Tomax in a two-pack But if not, hey man, sometimes people may just want one twin who, who knows who knows but but today was also a lot of great reviews. Just a lot of great reviews. Uh, I'm Cobra all day. Um, but anything re uh, pertaining to G.I. Joe, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I love it. Um, I think the reveals are great. I think they're nice stock and stuffers. And, and I think it was a good way for some people to dip back and get some figures like that Cobra Island Baroness that they uh, couldn't get. And for also people like me who did not care for that coil. That bike, it was ugly, it was monstrous, it was, it, 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 it was disgusting. Don't ever do anything like that again. Let's get more kind of realistic with it. Um, but we're going to end this show like how we do every show. When you walk out the door, make sure you're being a person of integrity. And until the next time, God bless.